it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom. I'm back. I know I haven't posted in a long time. It's actually been around four weeks. I kind of took a break there around the holidays with Christmas and New Year's just to spend time with family, kind of regroup and think about the direction that I want to go with Crafty Life Mom. And I've also been working on some things like personally, like some personal goals. And so I will share all of those ideas and goals that I have with you in due time. But for right now, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and do a kind of miniature um, decorate with me for Valentine's. I don't go all out for Valentine's, but there are a few areas in my home that I do like to decorate. And so I thought it would be fun to share that with you guys and then sprinkle in a craft or two um, to kind of add to my Valentine's decor um, collection of things and show you guys how you two can make those. Um, one rule of thumb that I have though, when it comes to decorating and for any holiday that is, I like to decorate almost 30 days out from the holiday. That way we have about a month to enjoy the decorations. Valentine's Day, because it falls on the 14th, if you start on February 1st, it's only two weeks. So that is why I start in the middle of January. Now I know for some of you that may seem really early. Um, and for some of you, you've probably already started decorating because that's just the next holiday. So that's just kind of how I do it. You of course can do it however you want to. So I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you at the end. Bye. So one of the things that I like to do is basically just pull out everything that I have. I keep these linen bags for all of my pillows and holiday blankets and I kind of pull them out, make sure that they're good to go and then basically lay out everything I have that is like a display or something that's decor and just take a look at everything that I have because I don't always remember everything that I have year to year and I always add to my collections so I kind of like to just see what I have and then start placing everything around the house and decorating certain spots in my home. We actually got this new hutch for our coffee bar area and we did have to put a hole in it so that we could plug in our coffee maker. Um, so my husband was able to do that. And here's a look at it when I started decorating, but I actually update the back of the hutch. You'll see here at the end of the video. And then, like I said, I go around and I just start placing items all around my home, making sure that they are in places that we sit at and enjoy every day. Okay guys, so now that I've sprinkled around the decor that I actually have, um, that I've just had in my collection over the last few years, I'm in my craft room. I have a couple of bags of different things that I've purchased, um, just being around a little bit, like the Dollar Tree, um, maybe like the Dollar Spot at Target, or even like the Dollar General, um, places like that. I haven't really been to Hobby Lobby or Michaels to check out any Valentine's Day decor that they may have that I may want to add. Um, but for this holiday in general, I do like to keep it simple. I don't like to do a ton of spaces. So let me go ahead and show you a couple of the things that I've picked up. And just so you know, a lot of the things or some of the things I'm going to show you are kind of disposable. And what I mean is, is that they're like gifts for people or they're things that I don't expect to last another year to have for next year. And I'll tell you exactly what I mean by that. Um, First thing being from Target, I actually purchased, and you can still find these, I believe, in the store, um, Valentine's boxes for my kiddos to create. Now, I'm crafty and I'm sure we could come up with something on our own. I could even make something on the Cricut or the So What, but these were just too adorable, only $5 and too good not to pass up. So, of course, I got the unicorn. Um, we have a shark. Look how adorable. And of course, the green alligator. And so I thought this would be a fun little project for them to kind of do and embellish. And then I have some stuff, of course, I can pull out of my craft stash for my kiddos. They can actually then add to these. So that is what I mean by one thing that is disposable. Um, the second thing is, is that I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up a bunch of these purple, it kind of looks, pinkish but coral color purple and pink um, gift sacks. They're eight to a package and I purchased enough for both of my kids um, 
classes. And so this is going to act as their Valentine's. Now they are little gift sacks. They are like, you know, a little bigger than your typical Valentine's. We've done the ones that are pre-made that you get at the store in the years past. We've also made our own. And so I just really have been enjoying this file that I purchased from an Instagrammer called Learning in Wonderland. She is a teacher and she has the cutest things that you can use um, if you're a teacher in the classroom or even if you're just a mom, you know, you can do them. Um, these as well. They make like the cutest little favors for all the seasons. And so this just says happy Valentine's Day and it has two little friends on there. And then she also has a different option in her um, kit that you can purchase. And it says happy Valentine's Day there as well with a cute little puppy. These files like this, they are my absolute favorite thing. Um, you can just print them off, cut them out. You can hot glue it or you can even glue stick it to the front of this. And then we fill them up with goodies. And those are things that you can just purchase, you know, like on all your little travel. So one of the things that I did was I purchased, of course, pencils from the dollar store. There's 12 in a pack and you know, we're gonna fill up their sacks and this will be the little Valentines that they take to school and we'll probably add a couple other things into the sack, not a lot. So it could be easily folded down flat like a little sack of goodies um, as their Valentines. So super fun. And then let's take a look over here. Um, a couple of things, we went to the Dollar General, we stopped by there and we found some really cute Things, of course, for the teachers, and I know I'm touching on teachers um, for the most part for Valentine's Day because that's where the fun of it is for the kids, and I have some more news coming along with that, but um, look right here. Teaching, awesome little humans. It was red. It just, it can go year-round or it can be a Valentine's goodie, and my kids totally picked these out. They were things that they wanted to get for their teachers. Um, so of course we have teachers plant the seeds that grow forever. Just a cute little decor, um, item. And then of course, teach, love, inspire. So these are super cute. They were $1 from the Dollar General and I will pair these probably with a $5 gift card to like their favorite coffee shop, like Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know a teacher that doesn't like to get either a donut or a coffee, so it works and we will just put it in with these little cards or these little signs and give that to them as a little teacher gift. Um, and then, let's see, let me move on to some of the crafts that I'm gonna share with you. So I purchased, this was $2 from the Dollar General. It's a wood cutout of a truck with hearts. Typical, you see that everywhere. I will probably paint this and then add some sort of like um, scrapbook paper or something for the hearts there. And what I love about it is it has this extra piece of wood. You can't really see, but it has a slit in it and you can stand the truck up. So I plan to put this in our front foyer area on the console table we have and um, just make that super cute, something that we can um, keep actually for years to come. And then of course I popped into the Dollar Tree. I got the classic uh, wood hearts. I really thought this was cute. It's a shiplap one. I think I might paint or do some scrapbook paper with that. You could also put them on top if you wanted to. Um, you could paint this. Again, just some decor that I plan to add and I will show you. Um, at the end of this video and then I could not pass this up. This is from the Dollar Tree. Super cute. I have a collection of these um, wall decals is what they are actually called and you can kind of see a sampling of them here. They're not huge um, but this one I absolutely love. I thought it was perfect for the season because number one it's rainbows. I love the bright colors. It has the heart stickers on it. The word love which I, sh I will show you how I intend to use this. Um, and it's two-sided or it like opens up. And the best part about this is that these rainbows can also go into St. Patrick's Day or into spring. So there's a lot of little crafts that you can make out of this and I will show you what I intend to do with this coming up next.
the background to the hutch, you can see I actually added a peel and stick white shiplap paper. It's a little different color in white, but I really like the way that this looks and the way it turned out, popping all of the colors of everything I decorate with 